How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome to another review on the channel. First off, before we get into the review, I want to apologize for no video yesterday. It was kind of out of my hands, so to speak. The EA servers, they went down on like every single console for one, maybe two hours. So I decided to watch the Barcelona PSG game. What a decision that was. That was a corker. And I'm sure, I'm definitely, definitely certain something will come out tomorrow regarding Man of the Matches or even Hero Cards. So keep an eye out for that. And if you do want any cheap MSP, PSN, or even game codes, head on over to g2a.com. Use that code M89. Every single link that I will need is right there in the description below and if you do enjoy lads smash your like on the video every single one is massively massively appreciated let's aim for 1000 likes yet again the team around him will go through this quickly we have Kilo Navas, Florenzi, Pepe, Ramos, Marcelo, Modric for the link with Perisic, Casemiro for the link with Pepe and Ramos, we have Bonaventura, we have Mertens and we have Icardi giving that strong link to Perisic who's sitting pretty in camp I know some of you kind of wanted this guy reviewed at striker, but in the camp position, it allows him to kind of swip swap with the strikers from now and then. So I knew what he was like from Cam. I knew what he was like dropping in the midfield. And I knew what he was like playing at striker. I got the best of every single world. Lads, let's get in the review. So here we go then, lads. And as you can see, I did pay 400k for the card. Yes, he isn't cheap because he's got quite a lot of hype around him on the game because he just looks sensational, man. 88 pace and dribbling, 89 shooting, 86 passing, and 84 physical. And as I'm doing this, his price range on the Xbox has just been up to 800k max. I do believe on the PlayStation, it is the exact same. He scored 12 in seven, assist in one sign. Very good record. Four star skills, five star weak foot, high to medium work rates, six foot one tall, with jumping of 90 in the air. This guy is dominant. Positioning, 92. Acceleration, 85. Agility, 84. Balance, 72. Sometimes this card is like Bambi on ice. He just can't seem to get his balance. However, when he does, he's got the skill attributes. Ball control, 89. Cross, 91. Dribbling, 90. Long shots, unbelievable, 90. And shot power, 93. When the Maestro chemistry style on, he goes to a 95 cam in game. Gets like 99 shot power, 99 long shots. Honestly, this guy is ridiculous on this game. You've seen there, I originally didn't go for that kind of shot. I went for the flick of flick of bicycle kick. It didn't really come off, but he turned on the sixpence and he hammered it, levered it right in that top corner. You'll see the technique here. He actually got a decent amount of curve on it as well, which his curve stat is 80, so it isn't too bad. But in terms of being a cam on this game, unbelievable so damn good because he can do everything he can do everything you can imagine you want you can to do on this game he's got the height he's got the physicality yes his aggression isn't the best in the world which does bring him down every now and then but his strength sometimes does override that in cam he's just dominant in that position he's just he holds it down so well in that position his passing, his shooting, his skills, his weak foot, his dribbling, his heading. I could go on and on and on, but I don't want to bore you. So we'll get into his pros. That five star weak foot. Obviously, that is going to come with every single one of his cards. And it's a main factor into how well this guy does. And it's a main factor in why some of you wanted this guy reviewed at striker. Yes, he's got a five star weak foot like Son, like Megatarian, who are both bloody brilliant on this game. But what he possesses that some of those don't have is this knack of getting in the right place at the right time every time and punishing the opponents whether that be with a pass whether that be with a shot normally it was with a shot normally you get in these advantageous situations which you're seeing in the background so that's the way it differs from them lot will he be a good striker hell yes he'd work well at center mid striker cam center forward he'd work well in every single one of those positions so I don't really see a kind of issue with him being played in a different position from Cam. Striker would be perfect. Center forward would be perfect. Cam would be perfect. Center mid is a little bit out of touch, but 
Honestly, in those attack of positions, this card is phenomenal. Four star skills, it allows him to be flareful on the ball because he can skill past your opponents. The Burberton, like I keep saying, with a lot of players on this game, if you've got a decent amount of strength, that Burberton is very OP. So you can kind of ride the defenders from side to side and you can just shimmy them out the way with the strength that he's got. Yes, the aggression isn't the greatest in the world, but like I said, sometimes the strength does override that. Long shots, you've already seen it. This guy from distance, is a bazooka, he's a sniper rifle. He just pulls the trigger and it's flying towards that back of the net every single time. And it doesn't matter what foot it's on, left foot, right foot, it does not matter. And he's got the shot power. My good God has he got the shot power. You would have seen that in the first clip, the second clip, the third clip, every single clip. This one demonstrates how accurate his heading is. By nail, he got that off the line, but in the air, like I said, he's very, very good. And heading has to be a pro because what I was doing was goal kicks. I wasn't kind of powering the bar all the way up. What I would do is power it somewhat and then kind of hammer it into the midfield. In the midfield, Perisic would drop that just a little bit deeper. And when he did that, he'd get the ball, he'd flick it on the strikers. Then I could go from there. He was very OP at doing that position. I've already spoken about it. Sensational. And his dribbling. His dribbling is phenomenal. Yes, his balance isn't the greatest in the world sometimes. Like I said, he's like Bambi on ice. He just can't seem to get his balance. But once he does kind of get in the floor, get dribbling, his agility is very good. His ball control is touch tight. And his dribbling is sensational with the four star skills for it in there and the added factor of having a five star weak foot meaning you could go down the left or you could go down the right all in all lads i was very 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 impressed with this card so he's gonna get a rating of a 9.5 a very high rating for a cam from me anyways he's one of the best cams on the game without a doubt without a doubt and he's getting a value for coins of an 8.2 because at this moment in time it is still very very high is he foot champs ready? My good God, is he foot champs ready? As soon as the Serie A one comes round, this guy is going in my team nine times out of ten. Well, actually not nine times out of ten. Ten times out of ten, I am having Perisic in my team. So lads, hope you have enjoyed this review. Hope it has helped you in kind of deciding whether you want this guy, whether you want to save up for this guy and all that kind of jazz. But yeah, smash that like button. Subscribe if you are new around here. And as always, I will catch you all next time.